Hello everyone, welcome to your own channel Theoretical Condensed Matter Physics and in this video I am going to teach you how to install Quantum Espresso in Windows. Yes, uh, dear friends, Quantum Espresso is now available in Windows. So let's go to there. So in Google we will just search for Quantum Espresso. Yes, it is here. Now we will just go to their website, just go to the download page and in the download page at the bottom you can see it is written that windows binaries are made available by advanced software corporation just click here okay now you will see four files here we will we will just need this qe.zip file so just right click save link as and i will save it uh, in say i had already downloaded it but for you let me download it again so let it be in a folder say qe okay now uh, open save okay now it will just be saved in a few minutes so i will just skip from here and uh, let me show you how it works okay so the downloaded file is here remember it is in the e drive new folder 2 and qe okay okay now let me just extract it extract here now it will just be extracted uh, it will just take uh, just some seconds i guess yes um, it's uh, almost done yes so now here are the files you will be needing but uh, let me just pause it now you now need to go to the terminal page now so my favorite terminal is windows powershell so now just let's go there windows powershell is here so now just yes now remember it's in e drive so i will go to e yes uh, now it's in new folder 2 right so let's just do ls so yes new folder 2 is here so let me just do cd new folder 2 right okay so now we are in new folder and if you do ls here you will see that yes qe folder is here so now let me just do cd qe so you already know that but uh, for the newcomers let me tell that cd is the command when you want to enter a directory okay so now let's just do cd qe and we are in qe now now let's just do ls remember it's not in qe okay so after we have extracted the zip file it's now in small qe named folder under capital qe so now let's just cd small q small e okay now we are in that folder if you do ls here you will find all the files are here now what do you need to type here okay see let me just uh, for your uh, for the sake of your better understanding so let me just go there and we will be needing just that pw file this one okay now what we will do we will just type dot slash p w dot e x e just this you have to do just click enter it will be just allow access so i will just do it from private networks allow access and yes it is done and it is now waiting for input okay so in my next video i will teach you how to uh, prepare an input file and many of you are waiting for such videos and yes, I will uh, complete the lecture series on the basics of DFT. But the problem is that from wh while I am working from home, my animation guy is not available for me. Okay, so I want to make the videos really attractive. But in the meantime, I will post such videos for you. Okay, hope it was helpful for you. And uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Thanks a lot.